Hey everyone, as many of you know, I'm taking some time off after what happened with my cat. Um, I'm just here in Italy. It's pretty beautiful to be honest with you, that's Naples behind me. I'm just at one of my friend's places. Um, yeah, I'm taking some time out, but I don't really want to just leave the channel. So yeah, we decided to do some videos anyway. Today's video is going to be presented by Dagon. I don't know if people know Dagon, but Dagon's got 20 years experience in the link building game. He used to work for GoDaddy. Uh, you know, he's got a repertoire that's longer than my arm. The guy's an absolute legend. We work really, really well together as a team. And I'm kind of proud to be working along someone of his caliber. Now, Dagon, I know that you're going to do a really, really good job. And everyone else, I will see you when I'm back. We're going to be doing a few of these videos, guys. The, the team is kind of carrying me while I'm down, I guess you could say. So thank you so much for that, guys, honestly. And yeah, to, to my viewers and fans, I'll be back, you know, as soon as possible. Probably a few weeks, to be honest with you. It um, hasn't been easy. It wasn't really a pleasant experience. You can probably tell by my voice that I'm cracking up a little bit just thinking about it. Um, but yeah, I'll be fine. I'm strong. You know, anyone that knows me knows that I'll eventually be fine. So it just take a little bit of time. Sorry about this awful camera angle as well. <laughs> I'm sure people are used to my awful camera angles by now anyway. Anyway, guys, enjoy. Dagon, he'll take good care of you. And anyone else that's on the channel has been vetted and, you know, knows what they're talking about. So thanks, guys, for carrying me. And I'll see you really soon with some more content. Peace out. Hey, everybody. Welcome back to the channel. I'm covering today for Hamish as he's off in Italy taking a little bit of a break. So today we're going to discuss Google crawlers. All right, Google crawlers, robots, spiders, whatever you want to call them, essentially all serve the same purpose. They go out from Google to scour the internet, crawl dozens of websites, billions of websites, billions of websites, and determine their relevance for search. And so what keywords should they rank for? Um, are they worthy to rank? Basically, are they trustworthy sites? Are they providing good information, etc.? So, what are the what's important to Google? What do these crawlers crawl initially? So, when a crawler first hits your website, first thing it's going to do is check your robots file. There, it's going to learn. All right, these pages are disallowed. These pages we're not. They don't want indexed. All right, these pages they do want indexed, and it's also going to find out where the sitemap is which is the second place it crawls. Now, the sitemap, obviously, that's gonna tell the crawlers, all right, these are all the pages on the website. This is what the website's all about. And then from there, it's going to follow the sitemap and start crawling each page, and then following the links from each page to other pages, etc. But when it hits each page, it follows a specific pattern, a very important pattern. First thing it crawls is what's known as the title tag. So, when you've ever been searching anything, let's say you're searching for, you know, I can't, you know, no, what's a bad example? Let's say you're searching for an electrician in your local city, all right? You run the search, say electrician, you know, Albuquerque, New Mexico. As you're coming down, you see, it has that, you'll have all the different electricians, maybe have the map section, but then what do you notice about each search? Is there's, the, there's a big title, right? With the, and then the URL underneath, and then the meta description, right? So, and that information, that title tag, that's the key information. It's the first thing the crawlers crawl, and it's the first thing that, the, that your user sees when they run a search. After the crawlers crawl the title tag, they then crawl the H1 tag, or primary header. I don't know what I'm writing there. <laughs> primary header. With the H1 tag, essentially allows you to include the same keyword you put in the title tag, but also write it a little more eloquently, make it look, make a little more sense. So instead of just being electrician Albuquerque, New Mexico, it would be your local electrician in Albuquerque, New Mexico, or something like that, right? That's the second thing it crawls. So these are your two key points of optimization on a page, because these are the first thing the crawlers are gonna hit to determine what that page is about. Now, that alone isn't gonna make you rank, or isn't gonna be enough relevancy for you to rank. So next, you need content. And that content needs to support the claim 
made in both the title tag and the H1. So if you say you're an electrician in Albuquerque, New Mexico, that content better support that information and be all about being an electrician in Albuquerque, New Mexico. Now, after that, across the content, there are other multiple heading types, H2s, H3s. Now, this is an opportunity to add keyword variants. So not just hit electrician again and again and again, but you can add items like, you know, home electrician or, you know, um, industrial electrician or whatever, you know, to help give you more specificity to your uh, business itself. You know, what are you, you know, what's your niche? What are you best at? What, you know, what sets you apart from your, your competitors and allows you to include some of that on this page, on let's say the home page or any other page. It just gives you an opportunity to broaden what you're relevant for on each page. All right, this is the pattern they follow. Outside of it, there's other items you can hit as well. There's other optimization. We'll talk about those on another day, but this is the basic pattern of what's most important to Google when they crawl a page. Title tag, the H1 tag, the content, and then the subheadings, right? The H2s, H3s, H4s, whatever. So hope this is useful for you. Hope you, you found this valuable. Uh, we're, we love you guys. We're so excited for everything you contribute to our channel. We hope that we are continue to provide valuable content that helps your business grow online. Thank you. Like and subscribe.